In this tutorial, you will learn how to free up storage on iPhone. First, check your usage. Open the Settings app, then go to General, Usage, and Manage Storage. At the top, you'll see how much space you've used and how much you have available. Below, there's a list of your apps ranked by how much space they're using. It might take some time to load. Delete unused apps and games, remove old podcasts and videos, and set your messages to automatically expire. To set your messages to automatically expire, go to Settings, Messages. Under Keep Messages, select 30 days or one year. You may also want to stop using Photo Stream. Under Settings, scroll down to Photos and Camera and toggle off My Photo Stream. Your iPhone's Photo Stream automatically syncs your last 1,000 photos across your iOS devices, but that means it's storing 1,000 photos, about one gigabyte, twice. So unless you need to share your photos from iPad to your iPhone all the time, turn it off. If you have your photos automatically backed up and are deleting them, that shouldn't be a problem. You may have noticed that your phone can store two images of the same photo. That's your phone using HDR. If you choose to shoot in HDR, then you don't need to keep the normal photos as well. Go to Settings, Photo and Camera, scroll to the bottom and deselect Keep Normal Photo. Keep the device optimized versions of photos and videos on your iPhone. Tap on Settings app from the home screen. Then tap on Photos and Camera. This feature needs iCloud Photo Library, which will be available when you upgrade to iCloud Drive. So ensure that iCloud Photo Library toggle is enabled. Tap on Optimize iPhone Storage to select it. Download and Keep Originals is selected by default. If you want to access the full resolution image, then you have to access it using the web page or turn on Download and Keep Originals, as there's no way to access full resolution versions individually. 